Oh sweet! After two years, we're finally getting a Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos that's gonna be affordable. It's gonna be a super rare in OTS 17, which is fucking awesome. I'm so glad Konami finally giving us an accessible version of that. Just kidding, it's gonna be an ultimate rare. <laughs> Alright guys, we've got some OTS Tournament Pack 17 news. It is releasing officially on October 6th of 2021. So far, we only know two cards in it. That would be Ultimate Rare Infinite Impermanence and Ultimate Rare Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. So this is now the third time they've printed this card and all three rarities have been borderline unobtainable. It was short printed in Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. It was extremely short printed in Ghost from the Past as a Ghost Rare only. And now it's going to be, what, one in a hundred packs or something as an ultimate, and we will still have no foreseeable future with a BLS that is even remotely, uh, you know, affordable for the casual player. I think it's still around $100 for the Secret Rare, if not more, and the Ghost is obviously a lot higher. That being said, from a perspective of, you know, another good OTS, these are both awesome ultis. Getting Infinite Impermanence as an ulti and BLS, I mean, that's going to give this set some high value. Hopefully some of the reprints will be more accessible cards that we don't have access to right now. And maybe the third ulti will be something cool. I think this last OTS 16 was really good. I haven't even had a chance to get any yet because locals, my locals haven't gotten them. And I know some people's locals are still opening back up and whatnot. But this is a solid start. I'm hopeful... It's honestly one of the things I've wanted for a while was to have infinite impermanence in an OTS as a super rare. I thought it would do a lot to raise the overall like appeal of the OTS because there's a somewhat quote unquote chase super that would probably settle between like 10 to 12 bucks. But it looks like Konami does not want to do that. The one positive to take away from this is I do think this is a pretty good indication we will get impermanence in the Cyber Strike structure deck if a reprint of that is coming out right around the same time as this pack's release. Hopefully they've now, you know, done everything they can to make impermanence accessible and make money off of it and now we can get it as a common in the Cyber Style deck. That's what we know so far for the OTS. There's obviously still a lot of information to come, and as it's here, I will cover it. But for the time being, we've got the announcement of two Ultimate Rares, Infinite Impermanence and Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Let me know what you guys think about the OTS reveal so far and what else you want to see in it. Drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.